How's it going everybody? In this video we're going to be going over the installation of the Google Wi-Fi system that we're using for the Hawaiian Telecom whole home Wi-Fi deployment. And I'm going to go through the full installation so we're going to open up this the first WAP um, that's actually going to act as a gateway then we'll go into loading the app on the customer's device setting that up and then running through the installation on the customer's device and the last piece will be adding an extender once you have that first one up. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, just open up this box and take a look at what's inside uh, when you first get it. These boxes should come wrapped in cellophane. So so the first thing you're going to find is this is, uh, I mean, you've heard people have called this the puck. We'll just call it the access point. And you're going to see in here there's two different ports. The green one is the one that goes to the internet. So if you're, you're going to be on these initial installations, you're going to be plugging these into ONTs. So the port from the ONT is going to go into this green port that's labeled with a globe, um, and it's green. The blue port, which is a USB-C port that plugs into the power cable that's included in here, and this is the LAN port. This is for any devices that are, the customer might have that are LAN connected, or if they have a switch, like, or if I, we've included a switch, um, that would plug into there. On the back here, you've got this little button. That is the reset button if for some reason you run into a problem during the installation. And the LED, when we're referring to the LED, is this light strip that runs around the, the uh, I guess, the outside of the, of the WAP. So we'll put that to the side. Inside, we have the instructions, welcome kit. And this is kind of the, this is the important stuff. Um, so you have an ethernet cable. Now you can either, depending on how long your, your run is to your ONT, and then this is the power supply. Again, that's a USB-C cable. Let me run a, let me measure this cable real quick six feet, six inches. So that's all that's included in the kit. So what we're going to do first, the very first step in doing the setup is we're going to take this, we're going to go plug it in, uh, plug the ethernet port in so that it has internet access. You want to make sure that the internet access is working. Once we have that, then we'll go to the installation of the client or the, the application on the customer's device. Okay, so we have our Google device ready, and we're going to plug it into the power, and we're also going to plug it into the WAN connection, which is the ONT. So the Ethernet connection from the, from the ONT goes into the green port, or the, the uh, port that's indicated by the little world symbol. That's the Internet, and not the LAN. So make sure you're plugging into the green port when you plug your ONT in. And then next, you're going to plug your power cable. You're going to plug your power cable, which is that USB-C. You're going to plug that into the blue port. I mean, it's the only port that, that'll fit it. So you'll see your device will start uh, pulsing blue. And when it starts pulsing that uh, blue on and off, that means it's ready for the next step, which is to talk to the application. So let's take a look at that. Okay, moving over to the client's device now. This is where we're going to load the Google Wi-Fi application. Remember that you're going to be doing this on the customer's device and not your own. So all the setup needs to be done on the customer's phone or smart tablet. Um, there is no computer client for this, so it has to be some kind of smart device. Window or uh, Mac and Android only. There is no Windows client that I know of. And what we're going to do first is, this is really straightforward, like any, if you're using the Apple, I'm going to do this example on the iOS. So application, I've already loaded the Google Wi-Fi because that takes a little bit. We're going to open it. And the first thing it's going to do is it's going to ask you if you, it can access a bunch of stuff, notifications, etc. The first, So the first thing we're going to do, and the first piece of information that you're going to need, is the customer's Gmail account that they want to use for this Wi-Fi network. If the customer doesn't want a Gmail account, then that's unfortunate. They're not going to be able to use this service. There's no way for us to install this for them and set everything up. So it is 
a requirement that they have a Gmail account. So assuming that they've agreed to do that, I've already got entered a customer. Uh, this is HT customer, real Hawaiian telecom customer at gmail.com. So I'm going to use that guy. And now we move on to this next step. So this next step says, let's get started. And really all you're going to do is follow the prompts. The way that Google set this up is really step by step. This is so that anyone can set this up. It's found a Wi-Fi access point, And that's the one that we plugged in that was flashing blue. We've got a request from the, from the application to scan the QR code on the bottom of the device. So we're going to walk over to our device. So we walked over to our device and we're going to scan the QR code. So the QR code is right here. It's that little, that little square right there. We're going to scan that guy. And it got the code. So we'll put our access point down again. We'll tell it where it is. This one is going to be in the living room. And we're going to call this one our demo Wi-Fi. And the password, we'll just use password. And we'll put an exclamation point. Now at this point, this is up to you. We'll just, for, uh, for this demonstration, we'll turn that on. And now what you see is it's creating that Wi-Fi network. And so now you can see that the Wi-Fi access point is now white. Uh, once that LED goes white, you know that your network is set up. And we get the same indication on the phone. So now we want to connect to our new Wi-Fi network. And I'm going to I'm going to cancel out of this for now. We can cuz we're going to go back and we're going to add one later. But what it's telling us is to go to make sure that we can connect to that Wi-Fi network. And our Wi-Fi network was called Demo Wi-Fi. It's already got the password and we'll just double check that we can get to the internet. And we're good. And that's all there is to setting up the first Wi-Fi access point. So in this next section, we're going to add a second access point. And we're going to do that with the application again and uh, with another, another WAP. OK, so we're back here with our, for our second access point. Um, I don't have it plugged in yet. I'm going to plug this guy in. So no cables. This one is a pure extender. These can only be used. The second one can only be used as an extender. So don't try and plug this into the gateway. Um, that's not going to work. But you can access this LAN port if you need it. So we're going to leave this guy here. You can see that he's blinking blue. And we'll go to our device. OK, so back on our device, we're going to go to the uh, Google Wi-Fi application again. We're going to open that up. And this is, this is something that um, might happen when you're doing an installation. Depending on how old the software is on these units when they come out of the store, it, it's going to download new software or update itself. Um, I'm going to click no thanks. And that, depending on the speed of your connection, you know, if you're on fiber, then this should be pretty fast. And we'll just wait for that to come back up. And what I'm waiting for is my demo Wi Fi to come back online. In fact, let me go back and make sure that I'm on that guy.
So I'm back on demo, on demo Wi-Fi again, and you should see this guy update and say that he's online. Cool. So we see that we're online, and what we want to do now is we want to add another access point. So we're going to click on the three lines there, and we're going to set up a Wi-Fi point. Now you wouldn't have to do this if you were doing the extender installation right after you did the primary. Um, you saw in the in the first setup that there was actually a prompt. Do you want to add additional access points? You would just continue on from there. But we're going to go from this point. So I'm going to add to demo Wi-Fi since this is already an existing network. And I've placed my Wi-Fi access point as far as I, away as I can go. And I've plugged it in. And we're going to call this one the den. And you, so you can see on our access point, it's still flashing blue. Our primary access point is white, meaning the network is up. And now we're going to do that QR code scan one more time for this guy. And so we're, what we're waiting for is this access point to pull its configuration from the cloud, uh, the same configuration that's on the initial access point. Once that happens, this will probably reboot. It'll probably download new software again, reboot itself again, and then come up. And that LED, that little ring, should turn white. Okay, so our second access point is now up. You can see the LED is white. But we're going to wait to see if it's going to download some software. All right, so now that we have the second access point up, we have this, we've come to this point where it's asking to do a test. And what it's going to do is run a test to see what the, how fast the connection is between the extender and the primary access point. So we hit test now. That's going to run that test. And it looks like everything came up OK. And we can say none, we're all done. So you can see there's our network, there's our password, and our primary Wi-Fi point, and our mesh. Go to next. And so it's going to run this software download one more time for this guy this time. And once it's done, um, you should see it turn flashing blue again and then turn white. A few minutes later. Okay, the looks like the WAP is done downloading the software, so we're going to say we're going to opt out of that and we'll explore. And so that's what we're looking for. Everything looks good, and our two Wi Fi access points are up. At this point, you're done. The installation is done. The two access points are up. Make sure that the customer can connect to the Wi-Fi network with the password that they provided. So this is the last thing, guys, that I wanted to kind of pass along to you. And I'll put this link up here in the description below. If the customer wants to know what else they can do with the Google Wi-Fi app, Google has done an awesome job of um, documenting all this and making it really understandable. So if you follow that link, you can get all the information on how to check your network speeds. These are all the features that are available in the app. And there's a lot more stuff on this website if the customer really wants to dig into it. And again, that link is in the description below. If you have any questions, 
feel free to shoot me an email at j.garces at hawaiiantel.com.